this is one of those funny little thoughts I get sometimes that has to do with kind of a pun type thing related to sayings because words fascinate me and the way they can be inter interchanged for humor and for insight sometimes and it might just be a quirk of mine but I look at there's a saying in the world that's especially popular right now says uh, giving truth to power or power to truth anyway I was focusing on T words and in the Christian world they'll talk about the power of prayer which by the way nowhere in the Bible does it say there's power in prayer I mean nowhere look for it it doesn't say it anywhere the concept that there's power in prayer is that of lifting up and glorifying man like so many other things like virtually everything in religion there's power in God there's power in him and him alone you can trust in that power or you trust in your own great faith or whatever it is to bring about things that you think should be brought about so there's this concept of truth to power power to truth however that is and in the system where we came from, but I think it's similar to all religious systems, they just have their own power source, and the most common one being prayer, but there, there was a concept that there is power in tongues, power in speaking in a, in a language that no one understands, that no one knows what the meaning of it is, other than I guess they say the angels and God himself. There's power in that. So, power, the power of truth, the power of Jesus, the power of God himself is secondary. And I know they'll say, well, no, that is the truth. Speaking in tongues is the truth. But what do you know once you've spoken in tongues? What does anyone else around you know once you've spoken in tongues? No one knows anything they didn't know before you said that. Good feelings, maybe. For whatever that's worth. But that gets to the point of what it's all about. Is it about truth or is it about good feelings? And we came to find out that pretty much all the activity we're engaging in, in religion, was focused on bringing about good feelings independent of or, or at least making truth secondary to or subjective to those good feelings so it's about the good feelings and it's not about the truth because of course Paul said himself it's better that I, I spoke five words than I should speak in tongues the point is though is what are you focused on in your belief system is there power in doing things that give you good feelings? Or is there power in the truth of who your God is and getting to know Him as a person, as an individual, as someone you will grow to know more and more every day for the rest of your life? I think there's far more power in that than there is in trying to conjure up good feelings in some communal sense because everyone agrees that there's power in this sacrament or there's power in that sacrament or there's power in this good feeling because feeling good is not power it's just coming to an agreement with other people in their flesh that this is the thing to do to feel good about yourself it's it's specifically not reality based but that's my hopefully short thought of the day on bringing power to truth to the exclusion of all other fake powers and fake gods. In Jesus' name, amen.